Top 10 Best Places to Visit in Edinburgh If you're visiting Edinburgh for the first time and want to see all the best places to visit in this beautiful part of Scotland, the city centre makes a great base, especially the areas of Old Town, with the Royal Mile, with the fabulous shops on Princes Street. Here's the list of top 10 best places to visit in Edinburgh. But before starting the video, be sure to click the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. 1. Edinburgh Castle This should be a must-see on your list of places to visit in Edinburgh. The Edinburgh Castle, which stands at the head of the Old Town, effortlessly dominating the Edinburgh skyline from its position atop the Castle Rock is Scotland's most visited paid tourist attraction and is known to have had over 2 million visitors from across the globe in the year 2017. You can visit the interior, where many objects are on view, including the famous crown jewels, the gardens, a small chapel, and the war museum. Highlights of a visit include hearing the famous one o'clock salute from Half Moon Battery. Cannon fire commemorates the tradition of helping ships synchronize their clocks. The impressive Scottish National War Memorial and National War Memorial. And the stunning collection of crown jewels housed in the Royal Palace. 2. Camera Obscura and World of Illusions the oldest tourist attraction in the city, the captivating Camera Obscura, was opened to the public in 1835, just outside the entrance to Edinburgh Castle. Since then, the curious and quirky 19th century device has delighted countless generations with the amazing images and views it offers up of Edinburgh. At Camera Obscura and World of Illusions, seeing is not believing. Don't miss this Aladdin's cave filled with illusions, tricks, puzzles, hands-on experiences, and unbelievable effects to experience and interact with. Serve your own head up on a silver platter, visit the room where little and large become interchangeable, and pick the people of Edinburgh up in your hand in the city's 150-year-old Camera Obscura show. 3. The Scotch Whiskey Experience Scotland has long been famed for its whiskies, with the first record of distillation in the country dating to 1494. At the Scotch Whiskey Experience, you can not only sample some drinks, but also learn about the history of whiskey distillation through interesting exhibits and tours. This museum is dedicated to the history and fabrication of whiskey, the national pride of Scotland. It's located at the beginning of the Royal Mile, right next to the Camera Obscura and World of Illusions Museum. Experience for yourself the varying aromas of their regional whiskies, and whether you like fruity, sweet, or smoky, then enter the vault containing the world's largest collection of Scotch whiskies, and enjoy a special tutored nosing and tasting experience. 4. Edinburgh Old Town The Old Town is the name popularly given to the oldest part of Scotland's capital city of Edinburgh. The area has preserved much of its medieval street plan and many Reformation-era buildings. Edinburgh's Old Town is based around the Royal Mile, which stretches one Scots mile between Edinburgh Castle and the Palace of Holyrood House. The surviving buildings here typically date from between the 12th and 17th centuries. There are many things Edinburgh is famous for, like its literary heritage, historic cobbled streets, and striking architecture. With so many iconic churches, museums, souvenir shops, and quaint pubs to visit, you could spend the entire day in this spellbinding quarter. Be sure to wear comfortable shoes, because even though the area isn't big, you'll be walking up and down steep streets and staircases. 5. Arthur's Seat At 820 feet, Arthur's Seat is the highest point in the 640-acre Holyrood Park. Arthur's Seat is one of four hill forts, dating from around 2,000 years ago. Situated within Holyrood Park, as well as its rich cultural heritage, the park offers walks, solace, wildlife, volcanic geology, and unparalleled vistas of the city from its many vantage points. The spectacular views from the top encompass the whole city all the way to the mouth of the Forth. The easiest way up is from Dunsipi Lock, where there's a good-sized car park, a real breath of fresh air during your visit to Edinburgh. It's a bit steep, but reaching the top of this 250-meter-tall ancient volcano will reward you with a superb panorama over the whole city. 6. The Royal Mile The Royal Mile refers to the streets linking Edinburgh Castle and the Palace of Holyrood House. Lined with charming townhouses, churches, and historic landmarks, this splendid thoroughfare is a great place to stroll for its shops, including kilt makers, inns, museums, cafes, and restaurants. The Royal Mile is very long, 
featuring many monuments, museums, and attractions to discover. The medieval architecture, cobbled streets, and historical buildings are stunning. Many of the buildings are tall, averaging 6 to 15 stories, and are referred to locally as lands. Narrow little alleys, called wines, with their quaint, hidden backyard, closes, weave in and around them. As it's the most touristic place in the city, you will also find lots of street artists, souvenir shops, and restaurants. 7. Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh Founded in 1670, the Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh is the second oldest such garden in Britain. It's also one of the largest and boasts an impressive 13,200 different plant species. One of the most peaceful and picturesque places in the city is the Royal Botanic Garden, which lies around 15 minutes walk to the north of Newtown. Sprawling over a huge area, it has a myriad of pretty paths to wander, along with countless colorful flowers, plants, and trees on show. Within its magnificent 70 acres are a herbarium, with a collection of over 3 million specimens, Britain's biggest palm house, and a tropical house with exotic orchids. There's also an alpine house, a terraced moorland garden, a heather garden, and an extensive arboretum with rare giant trees from the Himalayas, North America, and China. 8. Dynamic Earth – Edinburgh's Science Center Dynamic Earth is an interactive science museum. It takes visitors on a journey through the past, present, and future of planet Earth. It is located in the Holyrood area, beside the Scottish Parliament building and at the foot of Salisbury Crags. It is a registered charity under Scottish law and is owned as the Dynamic Earth Charitable Trust. The center was opened by Queen Elizabeth II in 1999. Get thrust back in time to the very beginnings of our universe and witness firsthand the Big Bang and the very first moments of our galaxy and solar system. Through volcanic explosions, landscape forming glaciers, and the evolution of our life on Earth. 9. Edinburgh Dungeon Come face to face with Edinburgh's most notorious rogues as a cast of professional actors brings Scotland's murky history to life. The Edinburgh Dungeon happens to be one of the underground tourist destinations located on East Market Street. Uncover Edinburgh's grisly history at the Edinburgh Dungeon, if you dare. Laugh and scream your way through this fantastic interactive visitor attraction, where you'll come face to face with a range of undesirable characters. From Scotland's history, including the cannibalistic Sawney Bean family and Edinburgh's infamous killer duo, Burke and Hare. Scream your way through a 70-minute interactive walkthrough experience, packed with surprises and thrills, with live actors, 360-degree sets, and stunning special effects. 10. The Royal Yacht Visiting the Royal Yacht Britannia is another great thing to do in Edinburgh. With a host of accolades to its name, the Royal Yacht Britannia was Queen Elizabeth II's floating palace for over 40 years. Sailing over 1 million miles around the world, Britannia is now moored permanently beside Ocean Terminal in Leith. Just a short bus ride to the north of town, you can find Edinburgh's port area, which now harbors the Royal Yacht Britannia, once the floating holiday home of Queen Elizabeth II and the royal family. It is now a popular attraction, offering a fascinating insight into the daily lives of the monarch and her routine. There, you will learn more about the royal family, their travel, and discover the luxurious interiors of the five decks of the ship. You can even dine and have tea on the royal veranda. Classy. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.